Good morning and welcome to Morning Moments. Uh, this was this Morning Moments was not planned for this morning. It was going to be planned for tomorrow. But be, due to some technical problems that I tried to do today, I am starting this Morning Moments and and uh, I'll put a title on this as we get going. Uh, I want to I want to share some thoughts with you this morning and uh, hopefully in future in future morning moments, I'm going to also share some thoughts with my guests and my friends too, and bring them on. I'm going to figure it out. It's not going to defeat me. I'm going to figure out how to do that. But some of you have been uh, real faithful in listening to morning moments, and and uh, I've been uh, bringing some funny topics, some topics that just and songs and and some goofy stuff. Then I then I also do some serious uh, devotions and some serious teaching as, as on. On Tuesdays, I've been uh, in a series on uh, anger management. There's been something on my heart for a few days, and I wanted to share it and didn't know what day and when I was going to share it. We were planning on something else today, but I thought, well, because when everything went went wrong this morning, technically, I thought I'd share it with you right now, and I just, just want to make a couple statements. There is a difference between sound bites and conversation. Let me explain that. In in the day and age that we're living in, there are a lot of sound bites. Sound bites have are may sound good and but they're often misunderstood. One of the greatest problems I see w- when I talk with folks that are angry through the years and that's one of the reasons I'm doing a Tuesday morning Uh, morning moments on anger management for a series but one of the greatest problems that 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 with anger is miscommunications and within the world of sound bites there is a great chance for miscommunications you put a label out there i am this and somebody interprets it as something else for instance i tell everybody boldly that i'm a christian I asked Jesus Christ in my heart at the age of seven, and all my life I've dedicated my life to Jesus. I'm not ashamed of my relationship with Christ, and I'll tell anybody who asks, and even people who don't ask, I'll tell tell you about it. Because that is my commitment, and and I really believe that, uh, I really believe God's word is true, and I'm following it. But when I say the word Christian, that's a that can be used as a sound bite that people take it off to what their their interpretation is in this day and age when we say other words it becomes sound bites to their interpretation i'm i'm going to say some words and i don't want to offend anybody by saying these but i'm using these as an example republican democrat liberal it's conservative. And I, I I could mention political uh, preferences. I could mention uh, different focuses. And then you have your interpretation when I say I'm this. Okay. So when you do a soundbite and say I am conservative, that means, well, they must believe all of these things, and I believe all of these things. It's not so. It's not an all or nothing. And people think, think when I label myself or you label me for something, that soundbite means that's what I believe. And in the world of uh, social media, it's so easy to beh- to hide behind faceless names and put a comment in and say this is what this is what I believe in just a little blurt. And if you say that little blurt, you you support this person, you support that person, then the big divide comes and we don't know how you actually feel and what your thoughts are. I think we need less sound bites and more conversation if i could sit down with somebody that i believe that they'll listen to me and i'll listen to them i could have a conversation and tell them how i feel 
and I want to know how they feel. Now, when you have conversation, you're also at risk of somebody disagreeing with what you believe. All right. And so we'd rather blast it on Facebook, blast it on social media, because I really don't want to have that conversation, which is much harder to do. Because when you have conversation with people, sometimes your beliefs are challenged and sometimes your beliefs are changed. All right. When I hear the, the what folks are going through and what the either the pandemic or or the issues of racism or whatever is the topic of today what what they feel about that it's based on their background beliefs and their 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 pre judgment prejudice prejudice means to prejudge prejudice isn't always bad sometimes we think it is but we prejudge the situation because of what we believe. Conversation is where we need to be. And conversation, you're right, makes us vulnerable. All right? And I don't want to have a deep conversation with people I don't know because they're going to misunderstand me. But if they're my friends or my, as I talked about yesterday in my devotional, if they're my friends, I could sit down and talk to somebody about real subjects with a conversation and get to know how they feel and get to know how, how, how I feel, then I could gain something from it. But nothing is done, nothing is produced, nothing gets better with just sound bites. Sound bites can damage and kill. It could divide countries. It could divide families. It could divide individuals. It's divisive. So, so sit down and have conversations. Ha have conversations with people that are different than you and say, I'm going to have a conversation. You're not going to like what I'm going to say. I'm probably not going to like what you're going to say, but can we agree that we need to hear it? I need to hear what you feel. Then when couples get together, as a psychiatric nurse, I've really helped a lot of people, done a lot of counseling with folks, and when they get together and have conversation, they have conversation that they talk about hurt feelings and talk about uh, misunderstandings, and usually, usually, Anger comes up, and usually it gets worse before it gets better. But it has you have to have candid conversations to do that. So I want to encourage you to stop the goofy, I'm telling you, stop the goofy sound bites that you've been doing. Because all you're doing, it doesn't matter what side of the fence you're on, all you're doing with goofy sound bites is stirring up more and more hatred. Choose to make a difference one-on-one. -on -one. Choose to look at somebody and say, are you willing to have conversation with me? Because I want to have conversation with you. And, and have conversation. Get to know people one-on-one, -on -one, rather blasting the airways with meaningless sound bites. Because when I say something, I'm going to just say something bluntly now. When I say a phrase, it means one thing to you and it may mean one, one thing to somebody else. When I say a life matters and somebody else says, well, all lives matter. No, these kind of lives matter, but these lives matter as well. Then there's a conflict because we're not saying the same thing because the saying that we have, the soundbite, means something different to each one of us. Until you and I sit down together and resolve our differences one-on-one, -on -one, it's going to be a systemic issue throughout our, our country and our world. Can I change the world? Well, I can change the world one 
conversation at a time. And who knows, maybe my world needs to be changed with my beliefs because of your conversation. And I got to be willing to say that I could be wrong in my beliefs if you're willing to have conversation with me. Let's start conversation. Stop the sound bites. Stop conversation. Say, does anybody want to have conversation? Pick up the phone. Meet with people. And I know social distancing right now is hard, hard to meet with people. But meet with people and say, I treasure your opinion. I want to know what you're going through. I have no idea what it's like to be you. You have no idea what it's like to be me. Maybe we could have some conversation. Hey, thank you for morning uh, m meeting me with Morning Moments. And uh, I'm going to continue to try to have a guest on. I've tried two days in a row and it hasn't worked. But I'm going to ha I'm going to get it. We're going to get it there. And uh, maybe even tomorrow. We may try it tomorrow. And I might wait till next week to do another guest. I do thank you for coming with Morning Moments and sharing my thought, uh, sharing your thoughts with me and your comments and, and watching and some of you passing it on. And uh, just keep up being positive. Keep up the good work and, and uh, hope you all have a great day.